Today, I'm going to show you how to make a quick template for burning things like this coaster over and over. My name's Jim, and this is The Edge of Tech. So recently, my wife and I launched a brand new website. I'll put the link in the description below, but we've been selling a ton of different cork coasters. So I had to come up with a good way to burn eight of these at a time. I reached out to my friend Walter over at Country 3D a couple months ago, and he gave me a really great idea on how to make a template. So I've been doing that and I modified it a little bit to make it even more reliable on the Ortur Laser Master 2. Now you can do this on any laser you have and it's going to work, but I'm using the Ortur Laser Master 2 in this video. So today I'm going to show you how to make a template to burn eight of these coasters and make them reliable every single time. In the end, I'm going to include the light burn file that we create today. You can find it in the description below to download if you just want the file right away. But in this video, I'm actually going to show you how we do it. That way, you know, going forward, let's do it. So when I reached out to Walter, he actually told me to grab poster board, something like this. Now this is white and it's really washed out, but it's a big piece of poster board. Now I really like using poster board because it's very easy to cut. It's very easy to put down under your laser and you can just throw it away when you're done. The poster board's not very expensive. In my city, this is only a couple bucks a sheet and we can actually use each sheet like this a couple times with our lasers. So the first thing I want to do is make this a little bit smaller because I can't use this full sheet in the uh, Ortur Laser Master 2. So I'm gonna fold it in half and I'm just gonna literally break this sheet straight in half. So I, I creased it a couple times and if you keep going back and forth, it'll start getting brittle because it is a thicker piece of paper. Once you do that, uh, you can actually just take and pull it apart like that. And you don't have to worry if it's perfect because it doesn't really matter. So now we have half a sheet of poster board like that. Now I'm going to use the half a sheet we just took and create that template. All right, so I'm going to open up Lightburn and that's going to give us our workspace here. My laser is already connected. I'm using the Ortur Laser Master 2 in this video. And the first thing I want to do is come over to the left and grab the circle tool. And I'm just going to make a quick circle just like that. Now this could be a square or any other shape you want. But in my case, I want to make it for those coasters, so I'm going to make a circle. Now, what I need to do next is make sure that this circle is the exact same size as what I need. In my case, I know that this is four inches around. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to click this little button right here, which will take us between inches and millimeters. Uh, I'm going to click the little arrow to make sure I'm selecting our circle. I'm going to unlock it here. I'm going to do four. So four. Enter. Height. Four. Enter. So we have a four by four inch circle. Now I'm going to lock this so it does not change the dimensions if I move this around on accident. Now I know we want eight of these to create two full sets of four in my case. So what I want to do next is highlight this. I'm going to go up here to arrange and I'm going to go to grid or array. Now I want, well, I'll move this over here. Now I want a couple columns just like that. So what I did was in the X column, I just did the up arrow and you see one adds. I'll do it twice. So we get three across here and I want to do the same thing down. Now this actually gives us nine circles, but we'll fix that in a minute. So I'll hit OK, and that gives us our grid here. In this case, I'm going to hit the Control button and A to highlight all or select all. And I'm just going to move that right here to the center of our workspace or about the center. Now I want to get rid of one of these because I only need eight. In my case, I'll just get rid of this bottom one like this. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight circles. So once you have all your circles here, there's a couple things uh, that I like to do. And there's one very important thing that I like to do to make sure that this is always in the same spot. What I want to do is come to the bottom right and make sure you're on absolute coordinates. So hit absolute coordinates. That means when you hit the home button on your printer, no matter what, this is going to be in the same spot every single time. Uh, if you wanted to, you could actually make come over here and you can make a position, a saved position 
Um, in our case, it's just going to be home. So we don't really have to do that. As long as you know you want to home this every single time and using absolute coordinates, this is going to find these circles in the same spot every single time. Now that you have your circles, we need to cut these out. And there's a bunch of different ways to do this. I just happen to like doing it uh, one by one just in case something goes wrong. So I'm actually going to go through and I'm going to select each circle and I'm going to give it a different layer or color down here. Each one of these colors represents a different layer. Now I like to do this because it will go through each one first before it goes on to the next one. And if you do this correctly and something goes wrong, you can stop the burn before it does too much damage. Then you can probably just reuse that poster board and move this a little bit and still be okay if one of the circles doesn't work. In our case, we needed eight total circles. Um, so that last one here needs to be this one. So I have zero through seven here. They're all on the output, which is great. You wanna go down here and you wanna make them all line just like that. So what we have here is, is actually uh, eight different layers and it's gonna do one at a time. So in our case, it's gonna start here and just kind of work its way down. Once you have all your circles in layers here, we wanna set up that they're all aligned. So we got that done. That means it's not going to fill in the center. It's just going to draw one line around in a circle. Then we need to do a speed and a power. So I double clicked on the first one there and it'll bring up this just like this. So I'm going to slow this way down. In my case, we're using millimeters a minute. Uh, let's slow this thing down to like 500 and use like 85% power. And then on the left side here, just go to the next one. You want to do 500, uh, same thing. What I do, 85% power, I think. Yep. And then do that for all of them. And what we're going to do is burn it at this speed and this power. And if it's not, and if it doesn't cut through, we'll actually just run it again. It's not that big a deal. And then hit enter when you're done. Now, if everything is correct on the right side here, you'll see speed and power. Uh, you'll be 585. Uh, 500 speed, 85 power. And then if you hit the down arrow, it's all the same. Now, sometimes I like to do uh, two passes just in case uh, the first one doesn't work and then you don't have to go back and do this a second time. So let's do that just in case. So open that back up, click this up to two, go down, click this up to two, go down. And if it does go all the way through, that's okay too. We kind of want it to. <laughs> so each one of these at 500 speed and 85% power, uh, I'm going to hit, oops, two, hit OK. So now if I go down here, I see that they're all 500, they're all 85% power, and the pass count is two on each one. Now we're actually ready to go over to the laser. So let's do that now. So what I did was I took the poster board that we ripped in half and I just set it on the bed of the laser, as you can see now. And what we need to do is frame it out and make sure that it's in a good spot. So what I'm gonna do now is hold the shift key and hit the frame button, which will power our laser and just do a outline frame of where the whole template is gonna take place. So far, we're looking great. It looks like we just made it with the piece that we cut. And if you want to adjust it to be a little bit more in the template, that's totally fine. Okay, so now that we know that it is in a good spot here, I'm just going to tape it down. You can do this many different ways. In my case, I'm just going to grab, uh, so I'm just going to grab some tape, throw it on here carefully just because I'm trying to film. There we go. Just so it doesn't move. Because once you get this template down, you do not want it to move. So I'm just going to tape it down right to my chipboard or my waste board underneath the laser there. I'm going to do two on the sides and one right along the top. So now that we have everything taped down, we can actually start to do the burn. So now all we have to do is hit the home button in light burn. So I'm going to hit the home button now and it homed and I'm going to hit the start button to start that burn. Now you want to grab your glasses and just watch that and make sure it's working here. In my case, it looks like I got a little bit close, but
but I can tell you that the 500 speed is probably gonna be plenty. Now it's going on to the second line. It's going around a second time. And I'm hoping this time it goes all the way through. So now that we're done, you see the eight circles. And I like to take a razor and let's just make sure that they are cut out. In our case, it looks like they're pretty much cut out. So I'll pop each one of these eight out carefully. And you, you just wanna be very careful that you don't move the template. Looks like the laser did a good job. It looks like our settings were pretty good there. So then you have all of your circles that you just pulled out right here and I'm just gonna throw those in the trash. Or you can use them for another project if you have another project to use them for. If you have uh, like an air hose, you can blow it off. You can, however you want, just make sure all the soot is off. But now we have our template here. We have all eight. The next thing I would do is take one of my coasters. I would place it right inside of there, just like this. As you can see, it pretty much goes in there just perfect. And depending on which way you flip these, um, I like the big side up on these. There's a one side that's a little bit bigger, but Anyways, it'll go in there perfect. Uh, it'll tell you exactly where to drop them. So all you'd have to do now is go back to the laser, set up your files, and I'm gonna show you that now, and then hit start. So now that the cut is all done, as you saw, and everything is good to go, what do we do now? Well, there's a couple last steps. Number one, we wanna save this. So go up to file, we're gonna hit save. In my case, I already had it saved, so uh, you'll hit save here and it'll prompt you to where you wanna save it. So make sure you do that. It's gonna save it as a light burn file so you can always open this back up. Now the next thing you wanna do, because you already have these burned in, you don't wanna burn these in when you actually do your templates. So I like to highlight them all with Control A or you can make a big square around them all and highlight them. And I'm gonna make them a tool path right here, the T1. So once you make them a tool path just like this, this is identical to what we had before, but this is not gonna burn in. It will frame, so it'll show the frame if you try, but it won't burn in anytime you do any of your projects. Now, what I like to do from here is I go file, save as, and I'm gonna do uh, eight coaster template tool, or whatever you wanna call it. You can do an eight coaster template, whatever you wanna do. I do tool uh, just so I know it's the tool path version. So I have two versions. I have one that's gonna burn it if I ever wanna burn it again. I have one that's just gonna be the tool path. Then you say, Jim, what do I do now? So in my case, what I would do is I'd go up here to the little import button, I'd click it. It will take me to where I have all of my stuff. This is what I'm gonna burn on my coasters. I'm gonna shrink it down like this. I'm gonna grab the very center, so you see the crosshair there, and I'm gonna bring it back up like this. And I know in uh, our case that our coaster is four by four, this template is. So I wanna make this just slightly smaller than that. So it looks something like this. Now, if you use the crosshairs here, you're actually gonna center inside of that coaster every single time. Once you do that, you wanna assign it a layer. In this case, I'll use number one. Uh, I like to use fill. With my coasters, I used to use, I like to use uh, 4,000 and 20% fill and only one pass. I don't need to do two passes and I hit okay. So. That'll give you my, now that'll give you your very first one. Still looks like it's a little big here, so I'm gonna size it down just a little more, just so it fits in there better. There we go. So once you get it sized exactly how you want it, if you wanna make the same ones, all you have to do is hit Control C to copy it. Come over here and paste, come over here and paste, come over here and paste. Now, grab it. Center it just like you did before. Just like that. And now you're ready. So what I prefer to do, just like my other stuff, I like to make each one of these a different layer. 
That way, if one of them fails, I can stop it and it doesn't burn all of them at once. And in my experience, it actually goes faster like this. So what I need to do is change all of these to just fill. And all of them need to go to 4,020%. And then one pass. And also, I want to make sure our line interval is the same for all of them. In my case, I like 0.11. Okay, so they're all the same, and these are ready to go. Now, you could take another file and make another four coasters here if you wanted to. In this case, I'm actually just going to make one of these to show you. We're going to bounce back to the camera. I'm going to put a coaster in our template, and then we're going to hit the burn button. So all I'm going to do now is hit my start button in Lightburn and you're actually gonna see the laser go right to where it's supposed to go and start this burn. All right, that's it. We now have the Grogu or Baby Yoda, I Need Coffee Coaster, and it looks like this. That's pretty awesome. I really love this. I'm going to throw it right here on my desk and I'm going to set my water right on it just like that. Now, what's really cool about this is you can do as many as you want. So if you wanted to do four of one, if you want to do eight different coasters, you can do whatever you want. Just put a different graphic in each one. And I really prefer the vector files. Uh, that's a completely different video showing you how to make a vector file. But if you can find a vector file, that is my favorite to burn because it's so much faster. Now you know how to create the template and then save it and then use that template to put your pictures in and then start your burns. Like I said, you want to use that home button every time you start a burn. That way your laser goes back to home first. Also, you want to make sure that in the bottom you're using that absolute coordinates. But as long as you keep that template taped down, you don't have to worry about it. You can keep using that over and over. Now, if you ever take the template off, you could always just create a new one. Grab a new piece of poster board, burn it, and start over. It only takes about 10 minutes from start to finish to create the template and burn it. In this case, the burn template and the toolpath template will both be in the description below for you to download if you want to. So you can do that and use it right in Lightburn. Now, this will only be for the Laser Master 2 or a similar size laser, and you may have to adjust your speed and burn settings to get it to burn all the way through your poster board. Well, I hope you guys learned something today. Keep burning. Hey everybody, I hope you guys liked the video. I hope it taught you something. Give me that thumbs up if you did. Hit the subscribe button right here and hit that little bell if you want to get notified anytime we go live on Hot Mix or anytime a great video like this comes out. Have you seen this one? Now that's a good one. That's the one I want you to use. That's, that's funny.